her her entire team has has been awesome, completely hands on with the show, and it was a blessing even having them come by also in Chicago with us, stop by, and it was it was super cool. I think I don't I think I had to get him. He was in his trailer when she was here. I said, like, "Man, Marseille here, bro. You gotta come out, man." I'll be taking that. <laughs> Saturday's premieres on the Disney Channel on March 24th. It looks like a great show. It's going to be a great show. But what made you want to be part of this series? Ooh. Um, one. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, you can win. <laughs> uh, I, off rip, knowing who was making the show. Um, when I heard that, when I found out Norman Vance Jr. was writing it um, mm-hmm. and he was going to be uh, executive producer to it, I was like, man, this is wild. If you didn't know, like most people who don't, uh, people who know, Norman created Roll Bounce and other classics, you know, in our community. Um, And these are things that, like, we all grew up on. Like, man, watching this, one made me want to go to the 70s real bad. And two, I want to skate. So that was one of the few things or one of the key things that I know for sure drew me into the story. And then two, just the story in general of how good it is. I was like, man, this sounds like it. It's going to be some heat. This doesn't sound like any other Disney project I've ever seen. Um, so just knowing how authentic it sounded and just genuine in, in its storytelling that it sounded, I, I was hooked. I just knew it was going to be awesome. That yeah. was like reading the script, this story, who was attached or who is attached, Norman Vance Jr., Marseille, the mm. whole cast, everybody. I was like, yeah, I got to be a part. And it was just such a blessing, like being on set with these amazing creatives and learning from them and laughing and having fun with them, you know. So, yeah, just the whole experience was the thing. Yeah, I could definitely see that. And for you, you two play London Johnson and Derek, also known as D-Rock. Uh, what's the best thing about playing uh, your characters? Oh, the best thing that I can say is the brotherhood. Yeah. I love the brotherhood that shows through our characters and throughout the show, um, how consistent it is um, and the stuff that they go through. And another thing that I love about it is seeing their dynamic and how we interact with the characters of the Johnson family and friends. Um, And that's one of the joys I get to see of it. Also, them being musicians, I got to tap into something I never delved, delved into before was just music. I'm not a musician. He's used to that, not me. But um, it was cool because we get to feel like we got to learn something, you know, like we actually got to learn a new skill, like learn history about certain things as far as uh, the music and the skate community. Um, and those were some of the few cool blessings that we got to um, have with these characters. With Derek, uh, he's MC. I'm not MC. <laughs> so I was tapping into something different with that. And also, like, like he said, the brotherhood. I'm that type of, like Derek's, the type of character he's going to be over the house being like, hey, what's up, y'all? Look, what we watching? <laughs> oh, your mom made some food? Okay. Don't pay no bills. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> like, it's over here <laughs> all the time. Mm-hmm. Always over at the house and we always in the studio. Um, We call it the lab. Yep. Always making music and everything like that. So it's cool to have two, two brothers that have a dream and similar goal to blow up within their music and just to have each other's back with everything. So yeah, it was fun. You know, you guys mentioned a little bit about who's attached to the project, uh, specifically Marseille Martin. She's just been a force for the last, it seems like it'd be 10 years. Uh, she's an executive producer. So how was it working with her on the show? It was awesome. Um, knowing that she was so dedicated to making sure that we got the vision right. Um, Knowing also like the stuff that she is doing outside of the show is also great. And it influenced us to just even work harder. Um, her her entire team has, has been awesome, completely hands on with the show. And it was a blessing even having them come by also in Chicago with us, stop by. And it was it was super cool. I think I don't I think I had to get him. He was in his trailer when she was here. I was like, man, Marseille here, bro. You got to come out, man. Yeah, I'll be taking that. <laughs> yeah, he was asleep. <laughs> he was asleep. I'm like, I'll let, oh, hey, y'all. What's going on? Knocked out. I was knocked out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah but before, she was here for a cool. She was here for a smooth hour before. I was like, wait a minute, it's Tim. <laughs> Where is Tim? <laughs> I was like, bro, I was, I was off. I was off in Dreamland, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marseille and our family, they're awesome. Um, meeting them and just being around them, you like he said, like the dedication that they have to the show. 
and the energy that they bring. You know, it's it it made things, you know, it, it solidified things even more. I guess. Yeah. Um, it was like, man, they like it. They they, they, <laughs> they like what we do. <laughs> you know. So it kind of just you know brought that more even more confidence to what we were doing. Um, yeah. So yeah, they're awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Jermaine and Tim, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the show and continued success to both of you. <laughs> <laughs>